Welcome to Megger's Technical Support Video Series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to perform a connection setup on the EasyThump 12. Now, let's get started. Going over the EasyThump 12's connections and some safety overviews. Now I'm going to show you the EasyThump 12's leads. You have the high voltage output lead. You have a high voltage return lead. You have your equipment safety ground for the Easy Thump. And you also have different AC power adapters that you may need. The Easy Thump 12 comes with a HV lead that is a male MC connector. In order to perform testing, you will have to connect a female MC connector. In order to do so, you will place the male MC connector into the female until you hear or feel a slight click. In order to release it, you will press into each other firmly and then they shall separate afterwards. The Easy Thump 12 also comes equipped with a hotline clamp for the HV return, which is connected to the lead with the bolted connection. For added safety, the Easy Thump 12 has an option for an external safety device. As well, on the Easy Thump 12, you have a high voltage safety interlock key, which can act like a lockout tagout key to make sure that the device is de energized. Also, for additional safety, the Easy Thump 12 is equipped with an emergency stop button. This emergency stop button can be pressed at any time to stop a test and you will need to unlock the emergency stop button in order to continue testing. Before you start a test, you may see this error message of check F ohm. Check F ohm just means that your high voltage return lead and your grounding cable are too far apart. Proper connection setup for the Easy Thump 12 is to first make a connection on your safety ground lead to the grounding terminal point. Next, you may connect your high voltage return lead to the concentric neutral or shield of the power cable to be tested. Next, connect your high voltage lead by proper means to the power cable to be tested. Ensure the concentric neutral or shield is bonded to the system ground. The resistance of the system ground and the earth ground must be at 5 ohms or less when measured with an earth ground meter. If 5 ohms or less cannot be obtained, the operator must follow specific work procedures and instructions applicable to hot or energized work. This concludes how to perform a connection setup on the Easy Thump 12. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support that you may need for your electrical testing.